in today's data structure class we will see the stack applications from second unit and uh, the applications of stack are recursion balancing of symbols memory management depth first search backtracking string reversal polyndro and expression conversion redo and undo so these are important applications of stack data structure let us see all those things one by one the first and the most important application of stack is recursion recursion is nothing but the function called by itself okay so these are the applications uh, which will use this recursion the first one is finding factorial of number that means uh, for example we want to find the factorial of 5 which is equal to 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 okay so the multiplication will be done repeatedly until it reaches the condition right so this is called as recursion right the same function will be called by itself and the second one is towers of hanai and backtracking dynamic programming divide and conquer and many more so these are the applications that will implement this recursion so the recursion is um, uh, used only the stack structure for its execution right so recursion is very important application in stack the second application of stack is balancing of symbol balancing of single symbol means balancing a pair of symbols that means uh, for example in the c++ programming opening and closing braces okay that means whenever there is a opening braces the corresponding closing braces should be there okay here the stack helps to balance the symbols so that at the end no symbol is left okay how we are going to maintain that the number of opening braces which will be equal to the number of closing braces suppose if we have two opening braces and there should be two closing braces okay when a closing braces comes we pop the closing braces out of the stack such that the stack becomes empty okay so whenever opening braces comes then the following statement will be executed until it reaches the closing braces okay so this will be maintained by the stack so at the end of this program if any symbol remains in the stack okay after this closing braces if any symbols remains in the stack that means there is a syntactical error in the program okay so for maintaining the pair of symbols stack is very very helpful the next one is memory management when come to memory management the stack is the part of main memory okay and it also helps the memory management right so whenever we declare a variable inside a program or inside a block inside a block it is assigned to stack memory and it remains until the program resides in the main memory for example we are going to declare a variable in this place. here we are going to declare a variable and in this block inside we are going to declare another variable okay in this block so this variable is visible only inside this block and this particular variable will be visible up to this block okay so for maintaining the visibility of variable we need this stack structure so the stack is very much helpful to maintain the memory the next application is depth first search suppose if you want to find a particular element in the graph the one of the method is depth first search so it implements stack to find the particular element in the graph okay graph in turn use stack implementation in search an item in the graph okay so for searching a particular item in the graph we can use two different searching methods the first one is breadth first search and second one is depth first search okay so the breadth first search is used to implement queue structure and depth first search method is used to implement in stack structure okay so dfs uses 
tax structure. The next one is backtracking. The stack is very much helpful in the backtracking. That is, whenever we need to backtrack through the program, we make use of stack data structure. Okay, here it involves recursion and recursion involves the usage of stack. Okay, backtracking means again the same procedure will be repeated until it reaches the particular condition. Okay, so backtracking we have to use the recursion. How the recursion is implemented? That is by using the stack structure. The next application is string reversal. See, for a string reversal, uh, it helps to reverse the string, reverse the given string. Okay, um, because in the push operation, push operation, we have to insert the uh, character one by one into the stack. Okay, for example, this is, uh, I, I want to insert D Sumati, D Sumati into the stack. Okay, first D will be inserted, yes. U, M, A, E, H, I. Isn't it? So, in this way, I can insert my name into this stack. Then, when come to pop operation, which will come out first, I, first, I will come first. Okay. H will come second. T third. A, next one. M, U, S, D. Okay. So, when come to pop operation, the string which is actually given is reversed. So, for the string reversal, we can use stack application. The another important application of stack is expression conversion. Ex expression means the mathematical expressions. Uh, for example, a square plus b cube plus d power 4, okay, plus c right so this may be a mathematical expression so the expression may be converted into one form into another form for example infix to prefix infix to postfix prefix to infix prefix to postfix postfix to infix so the expression may be converted into one form into another form for that we can use stack structure so this type of structure is infix expression Infix expression means the operator comes in between the operand. Okay, what is prefix expression? The operator will come before the operand. Okay, for example, plus A, B. This is equal to A plus B. Right, so the operator comes first. Then this is called as prefix. What is meant by postfix? The operator will come after the operand. Okay, for example, A, B plus B. This is equal to A plus B. Okay. So, A plus B is infix. A, B plus C is postfix. So, converting one type of expression into another type of expression, we can use the stack. The next one is undo and redo operations. Here, the stack, which is very much important to perform the undo and redo operations. Here, we need to maintain two separate stacks. One for undo and second stack for redo. Okay. And here we want to print the word stack. Okay. So we need to print S T A C K. But the stack stores in memory will be S and S T and S T A and S T A C and S T A C K. Okay. So if we if we use undo, then this string will become this one, isn't it? And if we use undo, then stac will become sta, okay? So, we perform undo and redo operations on these substrings that will use only the stack structure. So far, we have seen the applications of stack from second unit. Right. So the applications are recursion, balancing of symbols, memory management, depth for search, backtracking, string reversal, polyndrome, expression conversion, and redo and undo. 
when come to palindrome the stack is very much helpful to check whether the string in forward direction and backward direction are same for example m a d a m madam is a palindrome word okay if we read in forward direction and if we read from the reverse direction both the word will be same for checking the word is palindrome or not we can use stack structure so these are some of the applications of stack in the next class we will uh, see another important topic from second unit thank you